unhappy news from Tell Me. Yeah, uh, we got word yesterday that the 11-year-old who was tragically hurt in that uh, sailboating accident at Lake of the Pines, the Boy Scout, he had survived the accident, but now we learned yesterday he passed. Um, he was 11-year-old Thomas Larry, um, and he was at University Health here in Shreveport, where he still is. He died yesterday. His lungs were, they'd never been able to regain function in his lungs. Um, they were just not able to revive him and bring him back. Um, and I assume the family made the decision to let him go. But in doing that, and I, it makes me tear up, in doing that, they have decided to donate whatever organs are usable to someone else so that this little boy, an 11-year-old, may save countless other lives. Uh, kidney, liver, corneas, skin. I mean, who knows what they use now. They're going to donate anything that they can that the doctors can use to help others. And that's just... Of course, that's a scout. You know, they do do what they can to help others. Even in this little boy's death, he is going to help countless other people. And so what they're doing today is something really cool. They are raising a flag at University Health. Um, the ceremony is at 1130, but they're asking all scouts to show up at 11 in uniform at University Health at 11 o'clock today. They're going to raise the flag when they begin the procedure to harvest Thomas's organs. And when that procedure is over, they will lower that flag. I'm getting chill bumps. They will then lower that flag, fold it up by the scouts. I'm sure the scouts will all fold it. And then they will hand it over to the little boy's mom and dad and thank them for what they've done and try to envelop them in the love of our community. I mean, this is a little boy from Hallsville, Texas, um, probably visited Shreveport a time or two, but really not connected here. But our local community is going to come out. I'm sure there will be scouts from all over East Texas showing up. I, I can't even, I'm going to go over there today. I just can't imagine that emotional scene with this little boy. What more do we know at this point about what actually happened? I was talking to a couple of folks familiar with Lake of the Pines. And specifically Gary McCoy on Kiss Country, who mm -hmm. who has fished everywhere. I mean, if there's a puddle of water in my backyard, oh, yeah. McCoy's, you know. He's caught a minnow in he's it. He's caught something in, yeah, yeah. yeah he's mm -hmm. had a boat. He said to see, he said a, a, a sailboat on Lake of the Pines is very, very rare. And what he suspected, and you can extrapolate, you can expound on this, is is that, that it happened on a very narrow tributary mm -hmm. off off the lake. Yeah, it was Alley Creek was where, where it happened. Where, in fact, and I don't know what the width of that is. I don't either. But because there's a lot of camps, et cetera, down these small tributaries, these small creeks, bluntly put, mm -hmm. that that it's not uncommon to string a power line across right. for, for various cabins, camps, mm -hmm. et cetera. And the other thing is the water is higher now. You know, at, when the water's lower, a sailboat might have been okay, but as the water level rises... It puts your sailboat mast up mm. higher out of the water and in jeopardy if there are power lines. So for everybody, once again, if you would repeat what's going on today, University yeah. Health, and and just sort of uh, run through the whole thing again. 11 o'clock today at University Health, right in front of the hospital, they will raise a flag in honor of 11-year-old Thomas Larry, and that will signal the beginning of the surgical procedure, which is supposed to start at 1130, to harvest his organs. They're asking all scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Cub Scouts, it doesn't matter, to come out in uniform today at 11 o'clock in front of University Health in honor of Thomas Larry. Once the surgical procedure is over, they will lower the flag. The scouts will then fold that flag up and hand it to his parents.